I didn't want to turn 80 and go, darn, I wish I'd gone back to dancing, because dancing for me was a way of life. One, two. I came here and it was love immediately. Jean is, I told him once that he was like the most compassionate teacher I had ever experienced in terms of ballroom. Some teachers can be harsh, some can be very, very demanding. Jean is demanding, but in a very kind and gentle way. I've watched people be very at ease with him, who are not comfortable with their bodies. So it's, um, it's a lovely experience. All the teachers here are very good that way. One of the great things about the studio is that with the instructors that we have, is that we teach from children from ages five all the way up to 96 that come to our studio and we have ballroom children's classes and they're held on Mondays and Thursdays and then the adults have private lessons and some of the children have private lessons too because they get ready for competition along with the adults doing competition too. About seven years ago I was on Dancing with the Gloucester County Stars and I never stopped. Come here, everybody's friendly, everybody's positive. I'm the type of person who likes criticism because that's how I get better. And he pushes me to a higher level, higher than I thought I could be. I was in a competition recently and I thought it was gonna be intermediate and they moved me up to advanced. And I told Gene, I said, it's already a victory. Then we came in first even though it was the highest division I've ever been in. It's the only thing I've ever liked competing in because even if you come in last, you're still a winner. You meet nice people and you have a great time, you have great music and I've never had a bad experience no matter where I finished. It's really nice to have a wide range of ages because that helps the energy of the studio. So you're not just with your own age and your own peers, you're working with young children, teenagers, all the way up to uh, seniors. One of the wonderful things about ballroom dancing that you can be any age to dance. Actually, I took um, one of his classes through Rowan as an elective, and he asked me to come out here. So I gave it a try, I just stuck with it. I started coming here as a student. Okay, and had you done ballroom dancing before? No, nah, this is my first, first year doing ballroom. Wow. So it's been pretty fun. Like, I came up in the hip hop type of scene, so it's a new genre for me. <laughs> kind of takes me to like a new world say because all you dance that scene it looks so elegant I always want to try them. I started ballroom dancing when I was eight years old. I am part of the Roman ballroom club. Um, I'm actually the president. I came here as a freshman, came to the club, one of the club meetings, met, that's where I met Gene and he knew about my experience. The club meets here on Mondays and Wednesdays at eight o'clock every week so we come here and dance and uh, also we did a competition last semester at Princeton. One of the instructors, Crystal Bradley, prepared us for it. I love La Pierre Ballroom because it's so much different from other ballroom studios. A lot of times when you go to a ballroom studio, it's very business-like. But here there's a sense of like hominess. It's a small staff, so we're all really close. We're all close with our students. We all teach each student, and like sometimes maybe one student will have a lesson with me, and then they'll have a lesson with Jean. Um, so we share students, everybody is very friendly. We try to make it as welcoming as possible, whereas other studios, it's very like cut and dry. Everybody um, has a different way of teaching, so that's why we like to give everyone a little bit of every staff member so that they get that experience. It's like this all the time. We're always laughing, we're always joking around, making it fun for everybody um, because we don't want them to just come here and like, learn steps. We, we want them, like, them to have a good time doing it, remember it, make friends. People come here after work and they just want to have a good time, learn how to dance, do something fun, social. I had tried to go over dancing once before and I really did not have an enjoyable experience, but I really wanted to try it again. And what I found to be tremendously different here at La Pierre, the, their excellence is exemplified in terms of their expertise in the art of dance. Um, in a very diversified manner across age groups, across techniques, across styles of dance, and across demographics. They personify absolutely client service. Everybody is, is treated as an individual. Um, every session, everyone learns and laughs as well. My only regret is that I did not start this sooner and that I did not find LaPierre sooner as well. It's something that, that I, I'm definitely committed to for many years to come. 
I actually started dancing roughly about five, six years ago. Um, I had tried it once after my husband passed away and it wasn't, I wasn't quite ready for it. So then I, I tried again five years ago and I've been dancing ever since. I started about two and a half years ago. Um, it had been in my mind a long time. As I was getting older, I was like, you know, if you're not gonna do it, you better get going and doing it, you know? And so I just showed up here one day and um, inquired and met my instructor, Alicia, who, and uh, been doing it since and I love it. There was one night here, there was a um, country and western night. I, we had to divide up in uh, squares, you know, for the a square dance. And uh, I picked her as my <laughs> partner that night. And uh, yeah, we kind of we kind of just chatted kinda, after kinda, that, and then we went downstairs for ice cream and just kind of enjoyed. And we both enjoyed dancing, yes. and we both loved to have fun. Well, the studio itself is just beautiful. The setting, the people are just very warm and friendly, and the instructors are very very patient, which <laughs> you definitely need as a new person coming in. I feel the instructors really define you as an individual. I think they really get a feel of who you are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and they build on that. They really take a pure interest in you. It's not about the money, it's about the challenge of doing it and the accomplishment. And I think everybody has the same feeling when they come here. They just really enjoy being here. I came to La Pierre uh, through just the ballroom community. I have a lot of friends that dance. I started dancing with one of the instructors here, Jonathan. They're amazing instructors here, so I felt like as far as caliber of dancing, this was the right place to be. So in comparison to other ballrooms, I think it's, they make everyone feel welcome, and, and that's the most important thing. They do a lot of work in the community. They're very tied to the community, as well as, um, you know, doing charitable events. It's really easy to find La Pierre Ballroom. First of all, we're on the internet. So once you go on the internet, you just type in lapierreballroom.com. We've been here now, uh, four and a half years. June will be five years, and it's just been an amazing time. And uh, the studio is doing better than ever. Met a gentleman, our Bartolomeo. He said that they were building this building in Glassboro, and would I be interested in teaching in the building? So I said, sure. So I came and looked at it, and it was a, an amazing facility. And this is where we are now in uh, downtown Glassboro. So it. And it's really great because the borough of Glassboro is more centered than some of the other towns. I kind of looked on the map and everything kind of went to Glassboro. So it was a no brainer how I was able to kind of say, sure, I'll, yeah, I would love to be here. I created a charity and it's a 501C. It's called Ballroom Dancing for a Better You. I was a modern dancer. I studied ballet when I was a kid, became a modern dancer and was a modern dancer through my 30s and 40s, uh, taught lessons in Washington, D.C. And he asked me to work with him uh, with his nonprofit foundation called Ballroom Dancing for a Better You. I've been through a wide range of health issues with my students. What happens is with dancing, it relieves some of that stress. So they're not thinking, when they're, you're dancing and you're moving and you're listening to music, you're not thinking about your illness and about yourself. One of the things that we're really doing with Ballroom Dancing for a Better You, and one of the reasons that I created the charity, was so we can go into assisted living facilities, special needs community. We do seated ballroom dancing and standing. The last time we were there, we had a lot of people up and moving. They were, they were actually, many of them were mobile. So it was lovely. They, they got up and they, they danced and I could dance with the men and Jean danced with the women and it, it was just a lovely experience. And at the end, this gentleman who said, he said, well, when I was in high school, I was into sports and I never learned to dance. He says, I was into boxing and wrestling and all that kind of stuff. At the end, he said, we shouldn't have this once a month. We should do this every week. I mean, it was like he was so, he was so excited. It was just like a whole new world that, that Gene opened up to him, which was lovely. We're bringing ballroom dancing to them. So a lot of times they can't come to us. So this way we're out there in the community providing a service that maybe sometimes they don't realize they need it, but once they do it, the, you, 
you could see the light in their face. It's such a special moment. Getting the rhythm of a waltz, the rhythm of a foxtrot, the rhythm of a cha-cha, you know, and it's really amazing because you can see the people who in their youth danced and you can see their feet know exactly what to do. And uh, so this year we were named one of the charities for Gloucester County Dancing with the Stars. And Gloucester County Dancing with the Stars is an amazing event. It started over 10 years ago. 